right, so the next deluxe figure in the line, in the Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse figures is Faker. And uh, let's take a look at this figure. This was actually one that I've been very eager to get open. I thought was very cool, was a neat take on the Faker character. Of course, Faker is the uh, fake He-Man. Uh, he's a robot in disguise. Um, as you can tell, he has been uh, partially revealed into his uh, a robot style uh, you know, face, body, whatever. Also comes with a couple extra heads, has a, a full-on robot style head, and a, just a, a He-Man head with the glowing red eyes. Um, also has the, the He-Man chest plate, chest guard, and the evil orange uh, chest guard. <laughs> <laughs> like the like the uh, the vintage figure, of course, sword and shield. His sort of power got a little bit of the orange on there. Comes a holy hands, grabbing hands, smacking hands, um, just like He Man, because he is just like He Man. Some little extra details on the sculpt and paint job, but for the most part, I want to say eighty percent is uh, pretty much the same damn figure, but. Um, looks very, very cool. Obviously, a lot of uh, influence from the Terminator uh, franchise. Also, uh, Cyborg Superman, one of my favorite baddies in the DC Universe. Hank Henshaw, um, who runs around with a half Terminator face most of the time. Uh, He-Man being an equivalent to Superman. Uh, this is Cyborg He-Man, basically. This is the Hank Henshaw of, uh, of the He-Man universe. And, uh, and like Hank Henshaw, big bruiser, half robot or mostly robot, cyborg guy. Awesome, awesome looking figure. Can't wait to get him open. But before we do that, let's take a look at the back of the box. We have Faker, evil robot of Skeletor. Of all the deadly minions at Skeletor's disposal, Faker's mastery of deception and destruction makes him among the most dangerous. The cybernetic doppelganger of He-Man takes on the appearance of Eternia's most powerful protector, fooling many heroes, including the sorceress of Skull herself. By the time the heroes discover Faker's true nature, it may be too late. Um, very, very cool. We have an awesome illustration on the back of the box. I love these illustrations uh, that have come with these figures so far. These are these are really good packages. Um, they're reusable if you want to reuse them. And uh, very nice. They, they've been pretty light on the extra doodads and what's this and tape and twist ties and whatever. Though they are in there. But it hasn't been so bad that it's made me super upset and had to note it. Now, I want to get this figure out. I've waited long enough. So let's see what he looks like outside the box. Okay, so now I've got him outside of the box. And I applied his orange uh, faker style, evil style, uh, <laughs> Skeletor style chest plate. Chest plate chest piece whatever you want to call it and uh, just because this is what this is why I wanted him to look like very very cool I gotta say that for me I've got a brand new favorite figure in the revelation or masterverse line um, it was moss man then beast man and now um, to the top number one with a bullet is Faker. This figure is really, really cool. And it doesn't just come with this. No, no. Comes with extra hands. Comes with a couple holding hands. And uh, com comes with a fist. And comes with an open hand, just like He-Man does. Comes with three heads. Comes with the the head that we have here. Comes with the uh, just the He-Man head with the red eyes. That if you wanted to put this on your He-Man figure, and, uh, and, and use that as a faker in complete disguise, that, that would work out um, because, you know, of course, we have the exposed metal. And speaking of exposed metal, we have the T-800 style metal head, which is also very, very cool. 
also comes with the He-Man style chest guard, um, and, and of course the uh, Sword of Power, which has uh, got a tinge of orange on it, and the the shield, just like He-Man does. So very very cool. Big pile of accessories he comes with. Poses great, just like He-Man does. It's basically the He-Man figure uh, made to you know look like Faker, which is pretty awesome. And when you're you know coming up with a way to do Faker, you're coming up with a way to do Faker, and you need to figure out what you're gonna do. Well, are we gonna make him light blue? Are we gonna are we gonna make him give him orange hair? Um, maybe we could do that, or. Um, we can kind of go another direction. He's a robot in disguise. We have the exposed robot skin and very, very cool looking figures. Going to display nice uh, right next to the rest of your Masterverse figures. I'm, I, for one, big fan of this Faker figure. Um, and the, my brand new favorite figure in the Revelation line, it's Faker.